Welcome back to the TELUS World Ski and Snowboard Festival. Let's dive right into coverage from the world premiere of Rome from the Freeride Mountain Bike Group, The Collective. And they picked Whistler to premiere this year's film. World premiere of Whistler's uh, hometown and we're just stoked to show the movie in front of all our friends and most of the athletes in the film are here. And we just wanted to tie in with the festival because it's such a great event and just get a ton of people out. About half of it was shot in BC, but we did a bunch of other trips too. Uh, uh, Moab, Utah, Sun Valley, Idaho, down in the States, and then uh, in the fall we got out to Prague and Morocco as well. It's a combination of uh, sort of mountain bike meccas that are really well known for riding, as well as new places that we wanted to go. Shooting in all the places we shoot, just mainly backcountry out in the middle of nowhere is uh, definitely really challenging, but uh, it's a labor of love for us. We're stoked to be out there and we want to be spending time out there. It's just been really tough trying to figure out what the height is because there's so much sag on a big cable like this that we don't really know, Whoa. You know how close we're going to get to the ground. Well, as far as cinematography goes for our film, we've been trying to constantly push ourselves to learn new things and try new techniques. So before we started filming this movie, we went out and tried to advance some of the skills we already had and take on a couple new tools, uh, dollies and cranes, and work on our cable cams and just try to really get the, uh, the, the bar raised for, for ourselves. school down in California actually and uh, through a friend met uh, one of the guys in Slackstring and they were just super stoked to be a part of our movie so they uh, gave us a bunch of music to use for free and um, they, you know they've told us that being in the first film helped them out with getting a, reaching a new fan base and we started talking to the people at the festival about getting them lined up to play at the outdoor stage and a great group of guys putting out some really good music and songs that just really fit the vibe of our movie. We have a lot of fans in the Vancouver area because of our association with the collective, the mountain bike um, movie. There's just, it seems to be a, a very popular activity up here and um, they just really kind of flock to us thanks to that film, so it's been great. For about 15 years we've been playing together, which is why we can get away with occasionally never practicing. <laughs> <laughs> we good chemistry. I think we, we vibe well. Like we can pull off the impossible every once in a blue moon, just because I don't know. We feel each other, and I feel you just right now. Oh, bring it in. So handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Barbecue music. I mean, that's probably an appropriate label. The type of stuff you can put on when your friends are hanging out, and um, you know if it plays two or three times on the CD, it's just on repeat and it goes around and nobody notices, like that's great, you know, everybody's just having a good time and it's not, it's not getting in anybody's way and it's just sort of, there's background music. Really, like really warm and accessible on the first listen, you know, you're kind of, doesn't turn your ears off. Words and Stories, 21st Century Storytelling with Jim McConkey, Whistler veteran and free ski pioneer. Well, Michel called me and uh, told me that he wanted me to come up here and uh, talk about some of the old days. Since I was here from almost the beginning, uh, I, I know a lot about Whistler, the history of Whistler and so on. His name is Jim McConkey. He's a pro. It's in his blood. The wild skiing, the high mountains, the powder, and the daring that takes a skier high and wide to untried slopes and brings him back. Hans Moser started the Bugaboos, uh, heli skiing. He wanted to do a movie for television for that, and it was called White Powder World. They flew me up in a helicopter, and it's like they followed me all the way down. It's like one long run. It's a kind of a timeless movie. For a second, imagine the changes that Jim has seen. Comfortable boots, short skis, and grooming and make it easy for people to skate. It, it, it was like it was back in the 
70s, uh, you know, with the moguls and icy moguls and bumps, people my age simply couldn't skate. I have so many friends, it's just like a family. You know, I just, I feel so welcome to come back to Western. I, I love it. <laughs> and I love to come and play golf here, too. When we come back, we're going straight into the Avid Filmmaker Showdown, and then Heavy Metal with the McDonald's Rail Session. <laughs> <laughs>